It's mind-boggling. It's it's something that Absolutely. I mean, if I could erase or take away, I'd do it mm -hmm. in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. But instead of getting upset with the world or the doctors mm -hmm. or things, I couldn't focus on that because then I couldn't get focus on the cure and get them better. So we have to focus on the positive things and wow. you know help mm -hmm. the world. If, if we get tangled up in people's toxicity, we'll mm -hmm. never we'll never do what's right and yeah. what's needed. I totally, totally get it. How has that impacted your life? Wow. Well, I couldn't see doing anything but mm -hmm. everything that mm -hmm. I'm doing for mm -hmm. my boys and now for a lot of children suffering with right. auto-inflammatory diseases. But if sometimes when I look back, I mean, it's, it's like, have you ever had that moment where you're like, oh my gosh, after a full day or doing stuff that you wouldn't even think mm -hmm. that you had the strength to do, you look back and you're like, I could never do that again. Right. And it became like daily, daily. I mean, Brody screaming mm. in pain, mm. and which mm -hmm. some people have seen not even the full effect of, of what I went through. And you look back and you're like, but then again, like I've, I've said before, and I'm so transparent, is that mm -hmm. you don't have a choice but to fight for your child and um, exactly but the day in and day out I mean I, I we carry peace in our lives and we carry such happiness in our lives that um, it's hard for people to understand the struggles that we exactly. really face daily mm -hmm. um, but it's because keeping that balance and that peace is so important for their mental health too right. but I, I I look forward to the day with the cure for, for the boys to just be kids and not pay for pay, playing, you know. Right. Um, you know, we can get out there and do some stuff, but then they're mm -hmm. paying for it later. Right. So if Brody doesn't have to wear a mask because of his infusions right. that he gets and mm -hmm. lowers his mm -hmm. immune system, I would be like, oh, it's just one day. And right. then I would pay, he would pay for it. And it's not me paying for it, it's him paying yeah. for it. And I am the responsible mom and I have to watch right. him. But I also let them explore. And I say that, mm -hmm. and the reason why I coined Cades too is that one, auto inflammatory diseases are relatively new to mm -hmm. the public, and, right. you know, and, and the understanding, even with the doctors. But everybody who, if you put a lot of people with the same disease, they all mm -hmm. respond differently to medicines, to the disease itself, mm -hmm. and have overlap. Mm -hmm. So that's why it was important for me to even come take all of the caves and put them exactly. under our umbrella of focusing on the mechanism mm -hmm. versus the disease itself. So there's times when I watch them out mm -hmm. in the pool and you sit there and they're like, oh my God, they're having so much fun. And I look and I'm like, uh-huh. And then, you know, you kind of uh -huh. swallow hard because you know what kind of night that they're going to have. Gonna have yeah. But I'm not going to stop them from having that fun. Right. But then there becomes a time when literally I remember, what, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. That, you know, I had friends over and Brody was up screaming in pain and you sit there and you bounce him and you're hearing him scream in pain and you're like, is it worth it? Yeah, yeah, I get to watch him laugh and everything, but then when you watch your child mm. scream and the pain that he goes mm. through, it does as a mom, it, you sit there and go, God, it's such suffering and mm -hmm. I know I've heard people like, you know, is it suffering, is it pain, you know, is that really a, can you really use that word? I'm telling you, I am very transparent, I'm very right. real with myself, mm -hmm. I'm very real with the, the verbiage mm -hmm. I use, mm -hmm. it is suffering. Wow. There has been times when, you know, they are, they are hurt because mm -hmm. there's been either doctors or there's been uh, people close or, or mm -hmm. friends who um, haven't been as sensitive right. to their pains. It doesn't overcome the pain, but it truly helps the balance. Mm -hmm. But I don't I don't think there's any perfect. The perfect mm -hmm. is is unconditional love. That's perfection mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have. Mm -hmm. But perfect, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I'm the least normal person there is in this world. <laughs> Who is normal? <laughs> Who is normal? Two and a half you were di at 18 and a half months you were diagnosed, but I gave you shots. Mm. And I had to give him Kinneret every day. She was getting the infusions once a month mm -hmm. and then started, you could tell when they would wear off. Mm -hmm. And then we started doing it twice a month. And mm -hmm. you know, these kids are on these these drugs that, you know, as the president and founder, um, people probably notice that I don't 
say I say what Brody could be using and what's working, mm -hmm. but I don't tell what other people right. to take because everybody reacts differently. Exactly. And that's why I'm focused on the cure mm -hmm. because I know what it can do mm -hmm. for, for everybody. I know what, what it's designed to do. Right. The cure will help with the Andler's Danlos, um, which is Aiden has the hypermobility type 3, um, which falls under a connective tissue disease. Right. So not one doctor diagnosed Brody. Mm. Um, Brody went through the genetics uh -huh. um, and, and found to have the genetic mm -hmm. uh, for atypical blau, okay. um, not too card uh, 15, mm -hmm. and the um, mutations um, along with that. Then with his symptoms and then with the, the sed rates and everything, um, everything together and looking at Brody, he was finally diagnosed at the Cleveland Clinic mm -hmm. um, with a doctor who was really uh, looked beyond the box right. which we needed. My primary goal starting Stop Cave Now was, um, you have to understand too, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't on Facebook, I had no idea what social media was, mm -hmm. um, I had a rinky dink laptop, I start. I was literally started this 501c3, mm -hmm. studied, you know, medical terms and the biology of it and the mechanism of it while bouncing Brody. Wow. So I'd be bouncing Brody and with the other hand I'd be doing this and starting this foundation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not having a clue as to really what to do except I knew what was needed. And wow. I didn't care if my neighbor knew mm -hmm. about Scott Cave now because mm -hmm. getting the funding at the time was not important. Wow. We needed to educate the doctors. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. needed to get them. Um, I needed to develop a CME, which I did with the Cleveland Clinic because these mm -hmm. children in the rare disease community are misdiagnosed and understandably so. Right. Um, so the more educated that the doctors are, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. better treatment, um, the better uh, diagnoses that these children will be getting. Um, and help so it was that and then became the awareness you know people see you and you know your family and they think oh the perfect family mm -hmm. they're so beautiful and they don't know what you go through when I, I laugh because <laughs> even when I was where was I and I still even with everything I go through I, mm -hmm. they're like and you're still smiling I said there you go because the love mm -hmm. Between us, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Brody doesn't have a prognosis, although of course my mind doesn't go there. Right. Um, but he does get infusions twice mm -hmm. a month. There mm -hmm. is a, a seriousness here, even though you, people don't see me crying every day. I can't exactly because the people it will affect are my children right. and the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. But inside, yeah, as a mom, there's nothing harder than to to watch your children. But I, I think you uh, I appreciate this. such a such Thank a you. warrior woman. Yeah. In the midst of all this craziness, you have such peace and such joy and such balance. Thank you. You're very centered and um, you know, I look to that and I admire it. I hold you up for that Thank because you. You. you know, so many people have so much less to deal with, but they're not holding it together. So, you know Well it doesn't as Aiden even said, it doesn't you can you know, you could drive yourself crazy. Mm -hmm. If you can't fix the situation, you got to do the best with what you have. Exactly. To, to deal with it at that moment. Mm -hmm. um, so, and the more that I, if I stressed out, I remember bouncing Brody and I thought, you know, when you're so close to your children and you're there, they can feel that tension, they can feel exactly. that stress. Mm -hmm. And then the more, the more that I would react than they could. And um, I, you know, a woman of faith, um, mm. you you have to trust in the process. Mm. So I appreciate that. I mean, yeah. um, I appreciate what you do. Um, <laughs> I, I've always we've always connected, I, and it, there's that, and I think it's also because we really <laughs> keep it real. Like people, you know, I, I find it the funniest thing is when people like who come here, they'll say, they'll say, you're just like you're on Facebook, or you're just you're just the same. And I'd be like, why wouldn't you be? Why wouldn't you yeah. be? Like and. The sad part is that people, I tell my boys all the time, the person you gotta answer to is you. You look in the mirror, you speak the truth. That's what we do.